Good Monday evening to you. Richard Scott here for the local forecast update. A lot of rain across the state, something we desperately needed over the past really couple of months, and finally got some rain out there. Had some wind issues across the state. We've got another round of rain and storms comes in tomorrow night. Some of those could be severe. Going to watch that carefully, but check it out. A much needed rain on radar today across much of Alabama this evening and tonight as of about 945 this Monday night. Still got rain falling over a good chunk of the state. Some of that locally heavy. Yet rainfall amounts will continue to add up. It looks like with this first wave we've had come across the state this evening tonight, a lot of places getting over one inch of rain, some spots getting over two inches of rain, and some of those uh, heavier pockets of rain. Now, the watch warnings for tonight, all the warnings have expired. Still got a wind advisory for East Alabama and Central Alabama through this evening as winds will continue to gust at about 25 to 30 miles per hour in that part of the state. West Alabama, winds are really slacked up a lot, but the pressure grading winds, my goodness, very strong today. Winds gusting to about 40 to 45 miles per hour across a good chunk of West and central Alabama. Unbelievable pressure gradient winds out there, and that's not anything to do with thunderstorms, just the surface pressure difference. And uh, check it out tonight. So the rain moves out overnight, I think by 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Our area should be completely dry in terms of falling precipitation now. So go to the day on Tuesday. We start off Tuesday dry, but after about 5, 6, 7 o'clock Tuesday evening, thunderstorms start to develop. And at that point, the air mass will be much more unstable than it was this evening. While we kind of got a away with not having a lot of severe weather this evening, I think tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, with more instability around, I think we will have some issues to talk about. So first off, Tuesday evening, this is about 7 o'clock, shows evidence of some thunderstorms out there. Some of those could be severe, and storms continue around uh, through the pre-dawn hours Wednesday morning. Some of those, again, could be strong, severe as a cold front finally works in from the northwest, drying conditions out by Wednesday afternoon. A forecast for Tuesday now, uh, there's a good chance for storms Tuesday, but it's after 6, 7, 8 o'clock, so most of the day is going to be dry. There could be a couple of showers uh, during the daytime, but I really don't expect a lot of rain. Temperature's going to be very warm. I expect temperatures to top out of the upper 70s to around 80. Now, the Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk of severe weather. That's for most of central and west Alabama. Now, don't get the word slight misleading because what we're talking about here is a chance for severe weather that's on a scale from marginal to high, slight, uh, meaning the number of damage reports, the number of severe reports will be a little bit lower compared to the enhanced risk or the moderate risk or the high risk, but we still expect some severe weather issues out there. And again, that'll be tomorrow evening into tomorrow night and into the pre-dawn hours Wednesday morning. Here's what I expect across much of Alabama. And again, this will be 6 p.m. Tuesday night through 10 a.m. Wednesday morning. Uh, damaging winds, hail, and also a few tornadoes could be possible, especially over west and central Alabama. The risk of that will be a bit lower the further east you go with the air mass being a little more stable in east Alabama. Uh, so have a source of weather information. We'll be here watching things very carefully. If we get a tornado warning tomorrow night, uh, we'll be on the air. We'll be live on TV. You can also go to WVUA23.com and uh, click on our weather tab. Go to our severe weather stream. We'll be live there as well online in case uh, you uh, aren't around a TV or you lose power. You'll still have a source of weather information that way. Uh, check out the forecast. Again, storms come in Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. Then we go dry, cooler on Thursday and Friday. Expect temperatures back in the upper 50s to near 60 lows, close to freezing by Thursday night. Next opportunity of rain should approach sometime in the weekend. Looks like mainly late Saturday and into the day on Sunday. At this point, I don't see any sign of severe weather as the surface low will track to our south.